Hey everyone, welcome back. So until now we have seen uh, some of the basic uh, get requests in the rest assured and um, how you can view the response body in the logs, console logs. And then we also saw how you can authenticate your um, API requests, right? Now um, in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you how we can um, basically validate some of the API requests, right? So the response body which we receive, uh, how can we validate some of the fields which are present in that response body, right? So that response body in the, is in the form of a JSON of JSON format. So we need to extract that particular element and we need to find the value and then we need to validate it against an expected value, right? So um, yeah, so this is a, a basic um, API response which we used last in our last video, right? The weather API. So this is the response body which is in the form of a JSON uh, response body, right? So basically key value pairs, right? So we need to use one of the keys and then we need to extract the value and then uh, we'll validate that against an expected value, okay? So for this video, I'm going to uh, validate, uh, show you um, two validations, right? Out from this uh, API response body. So one of them uh, is the weather main, right? So this value, whether uh, it is uh, matching with the expected value or not. And um, as you can notice, it's basically a array of uh, response, right? So there could be multiple elements inside this weather element, okay? So we need to extract the array and we need to uh, get the main sm uh, value, which is smoke, okay? And we need to compare it with the expected value. And then the other validation would be uh, going to sys where we want to validate the country, which is India, okay? Or IN the short format. So these two values I'm going to uh, extract and then validate using the rest assured methods, right? So let's see how we can do this. So let's get back to our test where we have um, added uh, get weather by city name, right? So before um, writing our actual test, what I will do is um, I will store my API URL and the app ID into a variables simply because I don't want to write them again and again um, in each test, right? So we want to make it reusable. So let's uh, declare a variable called app ID and we will uh, store the value here. Okay, and then um, we will make another value, which is URL, and we will store again the value here. Now simply um, what we'll do is we'll replace this with the variables, right? And this almost same, so let's uh, change it to key, okay? And then we will change this to key. So um, not much change, but uh, that makes um, our uh, test more reusable, okay? So let's now uh, create another test here, which will basically validate um, our country from the API, right? So here what I'm going to do is, again, we are going to use given dot, we'll say query parameter, right? We will pass uh, the query parameters which are required for this API, uh, which is the city name, and then query parameter, which is the app ID. Okay, and we'll pass key here, and then we'll say when dot get. We'll pass the URL here, and then we'll say then. Right. So here, 
we will use a new uh, rest assured method, right? Which is called nothing but extract, right? So what it does, it extracts the response based on some condition, okay? So here we will say um, extract dot path, okay? And we need to pass the string here, which uh, we want to extract from the path, okay? So what was the string? Let's see here. Um, it is this sys dot country. Okay. So we'll say sys dot country. Sys dot country. Okay. Right. So, and what we'll do, we will paste it uh, or we will keep it inside a variable um, say string country equals to this okay and then uh, finally we will assert it or basically put an assertion to validate this okay so assert dot assert true country dot equals and we'll say here i n Okay, so um, this is the uh, simplest code through which you can test any particular uh, node from, from your JSON response body, right? So I can uh, take any node. Uh, currently I have taken it for dot sys dot country. I can take sys dot type ID, sunrise, sunset, time zone ID name. So anything, right? Anything which you want to validate in this JSON response body, you can do it in this way just extract uh, use the extract method and then use the path and pass the node here okay so um, let's run this and we'll see whether it's working or not Okay, so the assertion has passed, as you can see, obviously we cannot view anything here, but if you want to actually see whether it is picking up the right value or not, just print print the value here, right? So put a system dot out, print ln and just print it. Okay, and if I execute this again, this time you will see uh, it will print in, which is nothing but the country as India, right? Okay, so this is the value. So similarly, um, there is another value which I wanted to print. Okay, coming to our next validation, um, I wanted to validate this uh, weather, right, which is an array element type. Now, this is a little different if you notice um, in this particular JSON response body, um, everything is in the form of key value pairs, but here the value is an array instead of, so when there is a square bracket in the response body, you will know that this is an array, right? So this is the zeroth element of the array. Right, so we need to uh, pass this element a little differently, right? So the way will still remain the same, but uh, the value which we are extracting is an array element, not a single element, right? So keep that in mind. So let's uh, create another test here. It's pretty similar to this. So I'll just copy paste it and then make the changes. So I will say validate the weather, right? And then we will, what we need to do is main weather I will say here. And here, instead of sys.country, I need to extract path for this array element. So this is weather, right? 
and here I will mention the zeroth element of the weather array, right? So just notice that. And then after that, I can have access to all these different elements which are present inside the array. So I will I will take this main, right? So weather dot zero dot main. Okay, so this is our element. And we'll print this and we'll compare it with smoke. Okay. So let me just verify whether it is still the same weather in Mumbai. Oh, it is, right? So this is what we want to validate. Let's execute this and see whether we are able to validate this. Okay, so it, it printed the value and it uh, did the assertion, right? So that's why it is fast. So this is how um, you can validate your uh, different elements which is present in your uh, weather API response body. So basically any response body, you can um, validate different elements based on how you can extract the path, right? So this is one of the ways of basically um, extracting the path. There are other ways of doing that. We'll see that in, um, in our coming up videos, right? So that's all for this video. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you have any feedback or comments, please leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. And see you in the next video where um, we'll learn some more techniques of how you can test your uh, APIs using the rest assured. So keep watching and goodbye.